There are so many black men around the internet that's asking the question, why all the hate? Why do it appears that black women hate black men so much to the point where there are many black women that's wishing the death on black men. And when black men are shot down by police, there are black women or better yet, black females that will rejoice in the fact that black men were murdered by police. So now you have so many black men asking, why all the hate? Why do you hate us so much is what they ask. There are black men that say we understand that we've cheated and we've done you wrong, but that's no reason to hate us. And they ask the question, why all the hate? I'm going to make an attempt to shed some light to that question. I'm not going to be able to hit every point because it's deep rooted within us. It's deep rooted within black women. Black women have been through so much with black men. My initial thought was to say that black men created all of the hatred that's in black women. But then again, I thought that hatred or hate is a two-edged sword. It takes two to tango. Now, I grew up in an era where we never really had to deal with this sort of hatred. Yes, we've had our issues, individual relationships and marriages had their issues, but it was a part of the times or the era that we lived where men dominated women. It was a more male dominated society. So even former slaves, the so-called black man, played into that system where he felt that it was okay for him to cheat, but she could not cheat. He would come home and beat her. In many cases, she would lose her life because he cheated she caught him or for revenge, she went out and cheated. But even after that, they were able in many cases to come back together. She would always take him back. He can always go back home after he finished doing her dirty. Black women at one time were the most loyal women out there. Some of the most loyal women out there. Outside of the Asians and other races of people, black women were extremely loyal in spite of what many black men have done to them. And then these black males will come back, beg, plead, and even sometimes shed a tear just so that she could take him back. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I was under so much stress and the white man is keeping me down or I'm going through this at work and, you know, I'm really sorry. I don't know what came over me. Blaming it on the alcohol. And she would always take you back. But hatred is a two-edged sword because 
when black men started telling black women what they don't like about them, black women ignored them and felt that it was okay to wear her weave because not every black man likes that weave. And believe it or not, many black women are the biggest promoters of white women. I'm gonna repeat that again and pay close attention, black women. Black women are some of the most biggest promoters of white women. You wonder why so many black men going after white women because you promote them in many cases. How do you promote white women, you may ask? You wear the weaves, the same style hair that white women wear. You even allow hair to hang in your eyes and you just to be able to knock it out in front of your, your face like white women do. You're wearing blonde weave hanging down your back, the long flowing hair. You wear that. And there's many black men that tell you that they love your natural look. I understand there are times that you feel you can change up your hairstyle. There's nothing wrong with that. That's okay. But when you adopt the same style that white women have, the same style that you claim that's leaving you for another woman, you're wearing that style thinking. And I've had so many black women tell me that the reason why they wear that long flowing weave that's thin like white women's hair is because they think that's what black men want. Now only a certain type of black men would want that. These are black men or so-called black males that don't appreciate you for being you, but you fulfilling their desires, their fantasies to be with another race of women. See, you're fulfilling that desire, although you may not be that race of woman. So he's not really going to love you like you want him to love you. Because the love that he have for you is the love that's in that weave. There was an episode of All in the Family. And Michael one day came in the house and Gloria, his wife, was wearing a weave. Mike was against the weave until one day, or better yet, he was against the wig until one day he came in and saw Gloria in the wig and he fell in love, not with Gloria, but the wig that she was wearing because it stimulated something within him. So she became jealous of the wig that she wore. So when she stopped wearing that wig, he asked her, where's the wig at? So you know where that went. There was argument and she was feeling insecure. And there's a lot of insecure black females out there. A lot of insecure black women out there. So you create this image for a certain type of black male. And then you have the ones that don't like it would tell you, I don't like the wig, I don't like the weave. I don't like you bleaching your skin. You don't have to bleach your skin. You're beautiful the way you are, but yet you ignore the ones that tell you that you're beautiful just the way you are. Listen to a lot of the complaints that black men have. The wigs, the weaves. In many cases, in some cases, you're bleaching your skin. You feel that you have to act like a white woman. 
You feel that you have to sound like a woman, a white woman when you talk. Some feel that they have to act like a white woman. And if a black man wants a white woman, he's going to get a white woman. If he wants a black woman, he's going to be with you. He's going to appreciate you just the way you are. But yet you're not content with that because you think he wants something else. And he's telling you what he don't like. And you become offended by that. So as time go on, he start looking in other directions. He start going to other women. The same women that you promoted, wearing their hair, bleaching your skin, even altering your body to look like them. And so there used to be a time where white women envy black women because of their butts, or just because of the way a black woman is built. Now you have black women are trying to fashion themselves after a white woman. Because now white women now have butts, they have breasts, they have bodies, and men are paying attention, black men are paying attention to them. And many black women allow themselves, because of their insecurity, and because of their self-hate, you start letting yourself go. You start putting on those extra pounds and you get to the point where you just don't care. So now you got all that weave and wig hanging in your hair. You got all that uh, clown makeup on your face. And then they say you're aggressive. Black women are more aggressive, more violent. Now, personally speaking, I really don't care too much for aggression, aggressive black women. I don't like my woman aggressive. I don't like her feeling that she has to compete with my manhood. I don't like a woman that, that's, that's violent, that's a striker, that likes to argue. And many black men had to deal with your argument. I recall hearing an older couple was talking. This guy, he was a deacon in church and he was talking about his wife. And everybody laughed. She was there. She laughed along with them. And he was talking about how when he come home, she's always fussing at him. She's always got some issue. She's just fussing at him. And he said what he would do is he would go, he would run, he would retreat to the basement. And he would be in the basement for hours. And then he figured like, well, okay, she's calmed down. She's feeling better. So I'll just go back up. He said the minute he goes back up out of the basement and he runs into her, she's fussing and arguing with him again. He turns around and go back into the basement. Well, you have men that don't have basements. So they end up going in the streets looking for what they're not getting at home. And in turn, you have black women that will come back and say, I've done everything for him. I helped you go to school. I helped you do this. I cooked your food. But you're not looking at the fact that you chased that man out of the home. You stopped taking care of yourself. When you go to bed, you're wearing, you're covered from head to toe sending signals that you're not really interested in having sex with him. And then you wonder why he's not making moves on you, how you become so unattractive to him. So over a course of time, black men ask where all this hate is coming from. You created that hate, but hate is a two-edged sword because You've abused her in so many ways. You may have had a good woman, and I've seen it, where men had beautiful women, loyal, did everything and more that a woman should do, and he walked right over her. He used her. He abused her. And then when he get locked up, she's still loyal, and she take care of him even while he's in prison. 
Her life now is on hold. She's taking care packages. And then you have dudes that's like, well, that's the man you choose to be with. Just like you have females that will say to a man, well, you got to choose better women when you end up with aggressive women. It works both ways. So over a course of time, that hate started developing in the hearts of black women because now they're being rejected by their own men. They're not protected by their own men. And that's another issue too. You're not protected because there was a time where black men would protect you. But so many black men have lost their lives protecting you over foolishness where you would go out you would create issues and problems and then you say I'm going to get my man for you after you ran your mouth and created a hostile situation for yourself and then there's your man to clean up after the mess there's dudes that don't really like to go out with his woman if his woman looked too good there's guys that don't like to walk the street with her because it draws too much attention and he will find himself in a fight because there's dudes out there, especially in New York, that will disrespect your woman with you standing there and now you put in a position. See? So you have dudes that really don't, if, you, if you're if you too gaudy, you know, you, 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 you have dudes that don't, they're insecure. There's a lot of men that's insecure. And they can't handle walking with a fine woman because they can't handle the, the attention and the looks that his woman may get. And in many cases, once he get home, he'll start taking that out on her. And if she's got a mouth, she's going to run her mouth at him. And once she's hurt, she's now going to create or develop a strong resentment and hatred within her heart. And I think that's why you see in so many cases, women end up hating their sons because they were done bad by their husbands or by their children's father. And then their sons either have ways like the father, although the son did not do what the father did, the sons will look like the father or even have traits that the father have. And because he reminds her so much of the guy that she was in love with, that she's still in love with, that have left her for someone else, that dogged her out, she ended up taking out the frustration out on her son. So then it, it's, it's a steady, it just, it's a revolving door, man. It's, it's steady happening. Now the son is going to grow up knowing and feeling that his moms hate him. And there's going to be conflict between the mother and son. So many black women have conflict between their sons. Not because their sons are so bad. But because of the fact that whatever you went through with that boy's father, you took it out subconsciously unaware you took it out on him and then he got tired and started lashing out against you and you start thinking that he was so disrespectful to the point where hatred grew in your heart for your own son but yet you created that hatred in your son because he reminded you so much of his father so why all the hate? Number one, you have a lot of black women and black men that have hatred within themselves. They have that self-hatred. And black women have displaying, have been displaying so much self-hatred by wearing the wigs and the weaves of white women, trying to look and act and even sound like white women. That's what they mean by talking white. It's not the fact that you are trying to be intelligent or being intelligent is how and how you sound when you're trying to speak intelligent right so you have black men that run away from that so the only thing that's left for you which you choose are the thugs 
the bums, the drug dealers, the criminals, because they create a false sense of security for you. But then over a course of time, because of the fact that he didn't turn out like you thought he was, because maybe it's somewhere in your heart you felt you can change him. You felt that, yeah, I like that rough edge, but I like somebody that's a gentleman. See, that's like taking in a snake and dressing the snake up and thinking that that snake is your best friend. And then one day that snake decided to bite you behind. And you're wondering why. Because it's a snake. So you can't, we, we have that saying, you can't, turn a hoe into a housewife regarding women but you can't turn a horse male into a prince charming you can't do that that's that snake that drug dealer that dude hanging out on the corner that's giving you that false sense of security and so now you have black women that's looking outside of their race but yet they're doing it with a vengeance. And they start comparing the white man with the black man and how much better the white man is. And, and then they start trying to recruit other black females to swirl right along with them. And, and, and as time go on and you get these females that's, that's sharing their bad experiences that they help to create because they didn't do it all by themselves, but they hope to create and then all that hatred and bitterness start fueling within their hearts. And then you start hearing the terms dusties. They don't refer to black men as men anymore. Before all we used to hear is black men are dogs. There's no good black men out there. All black men cheat. That's all we used to hear coming up. So now we hear black men are dusties, right? Using racial slangs or slurs towards black men. So hate is a two-edged sword because it's double-edged. It's double-edged sword. It's created by both sides. But I will say, to be honest, and to be fair, black men created the hatred within black women. I'll repeat that and then I'll end the video. The hatred that black women have in many cases, not always, in their heart was created by black men because black men have done them so wrong just throughout time. And after a certain time period, anybody, if you have any type of soul or feelings within your heart, you're going to get tired of it. And we're now in a time in an era where black women are just tired. And they try to replace that love in so many ways. They try to replace it with their careers. You know, I'm a strong black woman. I don't need a black man. I got my own car, my own house, my own money, my own bank account. I just don't need you. And in saying that, and that's why you have to be careful when you're angry. I know there's thoughts that come to your head, you want to say certain things, but sometimes it's just best to just not say it at all because the spoken word is power. It's a creative power. So when you start speaking that creative power in anger, then it starts taking shape and manifesting itself in your life. So when you start talking about, I don't need, I can do it by myself. And then this man hears you say that. And then he darts, he disappears and you find yourself alone. You're going to end up turning to the system. Now you have the white man taking care of you through welfare. And if you look at the word welfare, or public assistance, it's public assistance, but if you look at the word welfare, looking at it backwards is farewell. Kiss yourself goodbye. 
you've lost everything now because now you're dependent on the system to take care of you. And if the system decides to cut you off, you're left without nothing, begging and pleading. So you got to really be careful what you say in your anger and in your hurt. They say there's no, no, no anger like a woman scorn or something to that effect. But the anger and the hatred that we see in many black females, a lot of black women now, is that woman scorn. She's been hurt. She's been damaged. She's damaged goods. And if a dude, if a man sees a damaged woman, he don't want no parts of that. Unless he's just trying to take you to bed. If he's trying to lay you down, he's going to ignore that. He's going to uh, try to motivate you, encourage you, make you feel better about yourself. And then next thing you know, you're in the arms of another snake. So to be fair, black men created the hatred in, in the hearts of black women. Because women used to, black women used to go through hell and she was sitting home while he had two and three women out in the street. Impregnating these women. Got other children out there. There were cases where dudes were married and they've been in relationships. And especially if they were married and then they married this other woman out there under a different name, had another family out there. And when he got his paycheck, the wife was wondering what was going on with his paycheck and he had excuses. They messed my hours up and you were supporting another family out there. And she's home loyal waiting for you and you wonder why she hates you so much. You wonder why all the hate now that black women have. But I say that the younger generation of black women, you really have no reason to hate because much of what you're going through, you create created that for yourself because I'm sure you had so many dudes, you heard it over and over again where so many young men were telling you what they didn't like about you and you ignored it. Right? And so now we in a time where it appears that black women, women in general, but if we're talking about black women, black women cheat more than black men do. Because there's so many good dudes out there that get run over and get hurt because he gave his all to this woman and she cheated on him, had him babysitting at home. He's home with the kids. Where you got females out there that their baby daddy is nowhere in sight. And to get him to either watch his own kids is a battle. But yet you got a man at home that's bringing in the bacon, that's taking care of the kids, helping you clean up, helping you cook at times. And then when you say, I need to go out somewhere, could you watch the kids? He's sitting there taking care of the kids. You out cheating on him. Playing the same game that a lot of black men did to black women. You're now doing it. And now you call yourself angry and you hate. Because you tried to play the same games that was played on you. That destroyed you. And now all that hang anger. That creative power that you spoke into your life. It's now manifesting itself. And now you're alone and unprotected. So I'll stop right here because I'm 29 minutes into this. I told you there's a whole lot that I can talk about. And maybe one day I'll do a live stream and we can all chat about that. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Click on the Cash App button if you got anything out of this. Support this channel. Until next time, I'm fearless.